said, let me know when you want to hit legs and camera in. <laughs> He's supposed to tell him, tell him the fatty said to relax. Oh, yeah? Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Busted. <laughs> I forgot because I hit him up like a week ago and asked, and he's like, No, I barely got cleared. And I was like, Oh, yeah. <laughs> Never mind. It was that day I ran into you, and I was like, I really don't want to be here. Oh, so yeah. I hit Gus before, too. I was like, Someone's got a large workout. Yeah. Does anybody want to see <laughs> So, what's up? They'll be on soon. People will trickle in at like 715. Me. <laughs> 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 Alright, so we will get started and then as people join, then, uh, then they'll join. <laughs> um, so for those of you guys that don't know, this is the infamous Brie. Uh, Brie, when did you start? Uh, we started like late April. Late April, okay. Yeah. Can you hear? Okay, give me a thumbs up if you can. Um, but we started about so late April. Yeah, late April. And what we are going to discuss is um, where she was, where she is, or where she was, what she did, and then plan moving forward. So, um, why don't you start by just telling us like what you've done in the past, like what kind of programs you did. And uh, just take it from there. Okay, cool. I've done like everything. <laughs> <laughs> Explain from, everything. It's from like a bunch of different like fad diets and different workout plans, like hitting legs like three times a week or sometimes more. Um, let us know if you let me know if you could hear her as well. Okay, sorry. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> and then um, yeah, pretty much tried like everything because I've been in and out of the gym for like quite a few years now, just not as consistent. Maybe like the last like two two to three years, something like that. Okay. So that's where I've kind of built like more of my strength now is um, just being more consistent in there. The but last before, two to three years you've been consistent? Yeah, okay. more so. All right. But before that, I would like literally, like I have friends who can vouch for me and be like, you've done, you, you're always on a new diet or a new workout Right, plan. right, yeah. <laughs> I'm sure uh, you guys could relate to that. I know I can. That was kind of part of uh, one of the reasons like I got into it because I was like, I gotta prove these guys wrong. Like, I keep jumping, <laughs> they are right, you know? I'm gonna start this up, but I'm actually doing it all the way. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, okay, so what would you say one of your bigger struggles was, as far as like, other than staying consistent, um, one of your bigger struggles when you were doing these fad diets or just like new exercise plans? Uh, it was always my nutrition and okay. that's like what I hit you up for first originally too was right. cause like, like I knew I was comfortable when I was doing in the gym and okay. stuff but it was always my nutrition like I would start for like a good while and then I would just fall off Yeah, just kind of like oh well What were you doing uh, in regards to your nutrition before? Um, pretty basic chicken, rice, and veggies, um, but I've tried it all where it's like you eat like every two to three hours, okay. and that's really hard. Just like clean foods <laughs> yeah. every two to three hours? Yeah, okay. so I've done like that, and then I've done like just the regular like, um, about four to five meals, but like very basic chicken and rice, but like I would be very like, like I would do it for like three to four days, uh -huh. and then here comes the weekend. And then it's and like Thursday, it was cool. Have, yeah, I wouldn't even pay <laughs> attention Thursdays. to any mind. Okay, cool. Um, <laughs> So, what was happening? Or did you know like how much you were eating, or no, was it kind of just like, okay? At least not for the weekend. Like, right. I wasn't really, definitely. Yeah, been there. Definitely, <laughs> definitely not. <laughs> um, I would kind of track during the week, but not very. Oh, but so you used like my fitness pal? Yeah, stuff but for then that? I okay. stopped for a while. I just I don't know. I just didn't use it after a while. I right. started originally with it, and I just didn't mess with it too much after. Yeah. Okay. Um, but now I use it all the time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, uh, for those of us that are just joining, this is Brie. And uh, we're discussing where she's been, uh, how 
she's overcome some obstacles and basically like just how she's living the real results lifestyle like literally um so uh so what did you why don't you tell us about like mr james mr dodger fan himself <laughs> so um why don't you tell me after you started with real results fitness like about your first weekend where you strayed so i believe let's say let's say your first weekend where you strayed on purpose and the first weekend you strayed on accident oh. let's start with accident first <laughs> okay so, she's like after day one <laughs> so about after two days <laughs> now after i got off the phone with you um uh, my accident one well it was kind of both the same weekend okay okay so uh when we this started, should be interesting so when we started in late april like i had my birthday uh late may okay so i had planned for it but then you know one thing led to another yeah and someone ordered dominoes late at night right <laughs> right i just had a few too many slices yeah was there pineapples on the pizza no and it doesn't <laughs> not, count not a chance. it's not even a pizza <laughs> <laughs> okay so like but like for the most part, I did plan ahead of time. Like, uh, like I didn't take food, but I like uh, would look ahead of like what's at restaurants, and okay. I would eat lightly. So, okay, could you dive a little bit deeper into that because that's a big issue, and maybe you guys could vouch for me out there. But I feel like that's a big issue with people as far as they they're not. Um, it's hard for them to plan ahead of time when you're going out to eat somewhere. Like, so what did you do? Because where were you? We were in San Diego. Okay. So for Which one, is... I didn't know where all the, like, what's there to eat. I'm very picky when it comes to breakfast. Okay. <laughs> it has to be good. All right. Uh, so, so if you're a picky breakfast eater, it helps. <laughs> so we would always, like, look ahead and make sure that the, the food there looked good. Okay. So, um, and then, like, I would, like, switch things out. Like, instead of getting hash browns, uh -huh. I'd get, like, more fruit. Okay. Um, I'd do, like, omelets. Yeah. Um, veggies mostly and um, chicken. Yeah. And so. that's, that's actually what you just talked about right there. So, like, she did a bowl of fruit instead of hash browns. That might seem like if you were just to enter hash browns. I love hash browns. Yeah. So, if you <laughs> if you make hash browns at home compared to if you eat hash browns on, like out and about, it's a significant difference yeah. because they cook with so much oils and grease. So, just even something like that, like, you probably saved. 150 to 200 calories just from like oils you know and and then sometimes you'll be surprised and whatever else they're gonna throw <laughs> in there you know they're like oh with hash browns you get four pieces of toast as well yeah, anyway. or pancakes. <laughs> yeah exactly so like even something like that is a big difference that you know just from the outside looking at you like oh it's it's probably around the same calories like that's huge like don't underestimate making replacements of food. Sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. No, I don't want to, to touch on that. So what else? Um, I didn't track my drinking that weekend. Okay. It was my birthday. That's fine. So. Yeah. She got the okay, guys. <laughs> um, what else? Um, but yeah, pretty much that weekend, like, um, I just really like just would look ahead like even like on the road trip like i took like uh protein bars with me good um, we didn't snack too much but if i did i always had something like did that help like taking protein bars yeah, okay it and, and then, like, would grab like a couple extra to like keep in the hotel room yeah just so if i like got hungry i could snack on that rather than getting who knows what perfect yeah yeah and especially with um a lot of these protein bars now they're filled with fiber and fiber as we know helps keeps helps keep us fuller longer so that will help you know satiate the appetite even if you still have a, a big appetite you probably won't be able to eat as much um okay and then so that was the planning part all right so tell me about the not planning part the and how that went. Part. <laughs> uh happened like the last day okay 
Uh, oh, so you were, you were good the whole weekend? Pretty, pretty much. much yeah. Other than the drinking? Uh, yeah, yeah, other than the drinking, like my food was good until the last day when we came back and then uh, everybody was drunk and hungry, so we right. ordered a bunch of Domino's and okay. yeah, yeah. <laughs> had more than two slices. <laughs> yeah. Well, and that's, you know, that's okay to do from time to time. Yeah. It's going to have, like... But I had done good, like, that whole month mm -hmm. before exactly. that weekend, so it's not like... Doing that every weekend again. Yeah. Like I had been prior. Exactly. Yeah. And that was exact. Man, you just nailed it. So like <laughs> that. That's where the issue lies. Is if you go out and like if you go out is one thing. And if you go out and or if you go to pig out is another thing. But if you go out and then go pig out, that's where people are like, I don't know. I like I eat clean. I don't know what's going on. It's like. That was me before. Yeah, that, that <laughs> I didn't was clean during definitely. The week, but then on the weekend, I just like pig out. And yeah. Sat and Friday and Saturday nights were invincible for me. Yeah, and then I just <laughs> I start back on Monday where I was last Monday. Right, right. Um, okay, so um, so coming back that next week, how did you feel? Like, did you come back on Monday or? Um, yeah, by okay. mistake. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's a, that's a whole other story. Holiday yeah. So, um, so like when you, that next week, or let's say even after you messed up, like how did you feel? Were you feeling guilty? Were you feeling prepared? Um, like what? I didn't mess. I didn't really feel <clears throat> guilty. Good. I was like more like tired, but we did get back that Monday afternoon, and I still did hit the gym later that night. Okay. Um, Dedication. Yeah. <laughs> feeling that. <laughs> But um, I didn't really feel like too guilty, and I wasn't like feeling like as if like I knew I didn't like gain weight that I was gonna like keep on me for right. so long and like ruin progress. So I still felt good because I pretty I managed it well. Yeah. So you didn't feel like I definitely didn't feel any guilt. Good, good. <laughs> and that's that's huge. Like I think I just posted it today. Is like if you mess up, you mess up, and you can't go back. And the more and more you think about it, the more you're gonna get stressed cortisol you know hold on to weight especially like females females hold on females hold on to weight longer let's just digress real quick females um don't lose weight as fast but they do lose fat fast. cut out soda and lose 10 pounds and cut out everything three. right right but they do lose like fat faster so like men the scale tends to drop faster, but women actual body fat and composition changes more often than men. Um, good, so you didn't feel guilty. Um, even did you have like a weight fluctuation? Um, I don't remember, but if I did, I don't think it was. No, money too. Okay, uh, good. I don't remember if I, if I did. It might have like by a couple pounds, but. By the end of the week, it was back to normal. Yeah. Which happens to me now. Like, Good. if I do, um, especially now, go it's like or more. Like, if I do go out, um, sometimes I might weigh like a pound or two more than what I had been the whole week. Yeah. But I'll usually, like, for instance, like when I went to Havasu, yeah. Um, after that weekend, I think it looked like, well, the scale had said I gained like four pounds or something. Okay. But by that Thursday, I was back to what I usually was. So, what'd you do? You just. What'd you do that Drink week when you came back? Okay. And then what else? Um, I Did you do anything was, different? I think that was still my off week, so I wasn't even working out. Um, so look at that. Yeah, I so, took like, like, what was it, three weeks off? Yeah. I took a couple, uh, couple weeks off, and so, and then coming back, I didn't get to work out. And then what'd you do? So what'd you do? Like, you drank a ton of water, and then did um, you just go back to eating normal? I also normal? wasn't tracking still at that time, okay. but I wasn't eating terrible. Good. Uh, I was still very mindful. Like, so, in, so like... Like she said, you started at the end of April. Mm -hmm. So by that time, she's used my fitness pal for a while and it's like, okay. And I told her like, don't use my fitness pal during this off time. Tell me twice. Yeah, I'll be watching. <laughs> um, and she didn't, but it's more like, okay, intuitive eating. Like, okay, this looks like it's four ounces. You know, if I'm gonna have this cheat meal, then I know I just gotta like, take away from something else or not eat, eat as much later and look at that like she said beginning of the week she was 
up four pounds and then later on in the week she was back to normal yeah. so that's a big takeaway that you guys need to follow through with and understand that it's very important when you see a huge fluctuation four pounds five pounds seven pounds you got to just go back to normal Change and yeah don't think like okay i'm gonna do more cardio and then i'm gonna eat less because we've all done that before and we know that it's a recipe for disaster after a nice weekend binger i'm 42.5 <laughs> pounds heavier mostly water weight <laughs> we'll talk off camera <laughs> yeah you'll, you'll get that off by thursday for sure <laughs> um so now we're just going to uh, move forward and talk about where she's at and uh, like what she did and uh, where she's going moving forward. So in April, May, June, July, August, so about you took September off. Okay, good. So I was right, right there. So she's been cutting for about four, yeah. four months. All summer. Yeah, all summer. So. <laughs> But, but still managed. Yeah. Right? Because summer was busy. Yeah. And I still did. I think I did really good. Yeah. I, I would agree. Definitely. <laughs> like, your body composition changed significantly. Um, I think it was maybe like a, what was it? Like a 10 or 15 pounds? 10 pounds? Or less? Yeah, 10 pounds. 10 pounds? Okay. I started with you, I think, at like 1... 37. Okay. Months. You were around like 120. <laughs> and you were around like 126. And then I, I got down to 125. After 125. Yeah, okay. That was the lowest I've been in a long time. Yeah. That's what I wanted to get though too. Good. And and she did this again, guys, by just like sticking to it. Like, don't overthink the system. Don't overthink the program. You want to just like she said. Like she gained four pounds, went back to normal, and then I think that next week you hit a new low. I think so. Yeah. I think that was the week you hit 126 or 125. It might have been. Yeah. So just don't like, don't try to outmath everything. Like don't say like, uh, <laughs> forever in a calorie deficit. <laughs> don't, don't think like, all right, well I ate an extra 1000 calories today. So I'm going to eat 1000 calories less in the next six days. Um, you know, like every now and then, okay, if it's like a special occasion, but the more and more you do that, it just becomes a rat race and you just end up, you just end up falling back into that same location. So back to what we're talking about. She's been cutting for about four months. Mm -hmm. She's over it. <laughs> <laughs> I did come back after my break, so I'm over it. <laughs> no, but, um, like you said, you reached your goal. Mm -hmm. Your body composition changed and I believe you got stronger in the process mm -hmm. um, So now uh, What Brie is doing is she is on a reverse slash recomp phase, which basically we are um, Reverse dieting slowly. So we're slowly decreasing cardio Beautiful. <laughs> We still want <laughs> we still want to include some cardio because you just we're in this for heart health as well so right. <laughs> reverse diet and then a recomp so right now like this scale might be fluctuating a little bit going up a little bit but um, her body composition is gonna change because uh, basically her her body's still like working at that that fast of a metabolism mm -hmm. so we could kind of like get away with it as far as like, all right, let me give you some more carbs right now and see what this does. <laughs> so it's it's kind of to the point and we're gonna reassess uh, after this week. It's like, okay, do you want more carbs is one. Can you handle more carbs? And do you need more carbs? Because, um, so carbs, uh, just as a reminder guys, it's your body's main energy source. So don't if- Don't be afraid. Yeah, don't be <laughs> afraid. And if she can use that, and continue to get stronger in the weight room. And even if the scale tips a little bit, you know, over, uh, then then we'll be okay because, hello, little one. <laughs> uh, <laughs> sorry, just got a uh, bystander. Um, so if she continues doing this and she keeps getting stronger, her body is gonna continue changing and recomping and, and she's, 
uh, hopefully you are, maybe you can tell me this, I don't think we've discussed this off camera, but um, her body will continue changing uh, just by us increasing her calories more and kind of decreasing the cardio. So why don't you tell us about where you're like, where you're at right now and how you're feeling. Okay. So I'm about a month in now with that. Um, I do feel a lot more energy in the gym. Um, and I, most of my lifts have gotten like stronger, so that's a plus too. But uh, I surprisingly haven't felt like as if I'm like getting like, I guess, for lack of a better word, fatter. Okay. But Good. <laughs> from, yeah, like, yeah. Extra, from like all the extra eating. Yeah. But um, so yeah, so I haven't felt like I've been like gain weight like excessively or anything like that. It's like a, like a good feeling. So yeah. Even though I'm not heavy like, anymore. Like um, dense. Yeah. So I'm not feeling like too bad. Dense like is that. the word of the day. <laughs> <laughs> but I was aware that going into this, like that's possibly where I'm gonna be at. Yeah. At some point, so I gotta kind of be okay with getting uncomfortable for a while. Yeah, yeah, and and uh, where Brie is at right now is like it's actually a beautiful thing. <laughs> so, like you we get said, away with a lot. yeah, like we said, we're we're decreasing her cardio a little bit, and then we're increasing her calories just total, more so on the carb side. Um, like she said, she can get away with with more, um, but hopefully you're feeling better overall. Even just forget the gym, but like what about like overall? Um, in your day to day, like, are you feeling like you were towards the end of your cut, or uh, like energy wise? Yeah, or, um, probably more energy. Okay. I was, I was getting used to it already with um, more I was with cutting. Yeah. Like in the beginning, it was kind of hard. Yeah. But um, by the end of it, I was pretty used to it, and so now it's kind of more like just feeling more full, but I still have that extra energy too. Yeah. Good. And. Just as a reference point, guys, do you remember around the calories that you were at uh, when we were ending? We were cutting? Yeah, um, towards the end of it. Maybe. It was pretty low at the yeah. time. Yeah, I want to say like 13. Maybe around 13. Mid 13. 13 ish? Yeah. Yeah, it was pretty low by the time we were ending. Right. And again, that's just. Some people could cut on higher calories, some people could cut on lower calories. It really depends what you're doing at work. Like if you've got a sedentary job, we gotta do more cardio. Like I gotta do more cardio than you guys probably because I'm on my uh, computer a lot, yeah, which I'm just shut down. down. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sitting down for like 10 hours a day. Yeah, so. so it's like if you're a construction worker, I might not have to take as, as many calories. But now, um, where are we at? Like, almost 1700 mm -hmm. okay so we're Pretty almost high. yeah so we're almost at 1700 calories and we're gonna uh you know depending on how she feels but we're gonna continue moving up and um and that's gonna only help her because she's going to continue to gain uh strength in the weight room and then her body composition is going to change so she's at that nice little uh spot where you're gonna be like losing fat and gaining muscle um with you know without without having to struggle like a lot it's it's not very common to lose fat and gain muscle uh you have to get you have to earn yourself to that point <laughs> and Bree has and has been like just a prime example of the real results lifestyle like she's a little prodigy <laughs> yeah i know exactly so proud. <laughs> uh, so like it's 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 a huge accomplishment to get there. I don't want to say good job because that's huge. Like she literally lived, like she was living her best life. I could honestly say. It. I mean, from I mean, just from her snaps and stuff, her IG, you know. But, um, she was having, you know, enjoying her summer. It, I uh, might be speaking up for you when I say this, but I don't feel like she was very restricted um, with her. Just. Uh, social life mm -hmm. and has made a huge difference um, I would do pretty good like I'm going out like so good that people would be like oh what are you doing like yeah. how are you eating that it's like but I knew that I could because like I would just eat a bunch of protein before I went out right so she would like get full kind of yeah yeah and it's you know sometimes there's gonna be there's gonna be times where you just got to sacrifice 
And there's gonna be times where you're like, you know what, I'm gonna turn up, but I'm gonna be good because I know how to handle it because I'm living that real results oh, lifestyle. Now I remember the first time. Oh, that you that, messed up? No, that I planned going out. Oh, okay. It was that weekend I went to LA. Okay. It was for Justin Timberlake. <laughs> but, um, Who's that? Remember, <laughs> uh, uh, I remember that was like maybe like two weeks in and I was gonna be gone like that whole weekend. So I was like, I don't know what I'm supposed to do for like food. Oh, but yeah. I ended up like finding food to like pack for like a lunch and stuff for yeah. like, the whole weekend. And what food did you like, pack? Um, Quest bars, I know for sure. Yeah, Quest bars, and then I got. Oh, I think I went. I got um, a bowl from Chipotle, but I actually split it up and okay. like measured it out and took that. And then I think like the second day. Because I was with my sister, we went to go eat somewhere, but I had like a protein wrap chicken burger. Yeah. So that was the first time. Whiskey and Diet Coke for sure. <laughs> for the win. I actually didn't even drink that weekend. With with Justin? Yeah. Well, you I guys was... just had a romantic weekend <laughs> yeah, without drinking? Did. That's crazy. <laughs> so you can have fun and not drink, yeah, right? Yeah, you can. <laughs> if he's included. <laughs> so, um, in closing, what? Once you give them like two or three tips, so, so everyone from the Real Results Fitness fam and everyone else, if I decide to share this, um, what, you know, how they can get to the point where you're at, where now you're like, all right, I don't, do I want to eat more? Like, if that, if you want to keep adding carbs, are you sure? I feel good. Um, so why don't you tell us about, you know, give them like two or three tips that have helped you along the way that maybe it's something we've discussed off camera or just something that you learned along the way. Okay. So um, it's yours. <laughs> um, I think <clears throat> first it would definitely be the whole plan in the head when it came to eating. Um, if it's, Huge. Yeah. Huge. Even like during the summer when I went to like tailgates, I would yeah. bring my own food and my own like light beer and stuff. Right. Just so that way like I didn't have to like think twice about anything. Yeah. Like my snacks when I would be out would be like the protein bars, fruit. Yeah. Um, just anything light that I could take and pack. Um, even like they have like like bags of like the light chips and stuff that you could take. Uh, I'll, to, to, <laughs> I gotta interfere. She's just bringing up so many good points. All that little stuff makes a huge difference. Yeah. Like Jose says on here, Diet Coke, whiskey. Like if you're gonna drink, have a diet drink. She's going for lighter chips and uh, Light beer. lighter beer. <laughs> and it all adds up. Like it's, you know, it might take longer for you to get a buzz or whatever, but like you still got a goal and you still want to achieve that goal. And I was eating light anyway, so it doesn't take that long. <laughs> yes. Boom. And boom goes the dynamite. <laughs> so, all no, these... but like doing that too, it kind of makes you not have to like think twice yeah. when you're out. Yeah. You know what you have and then you just go about your day. Right. And it's, uh, go ahead, what what are some other, that's, that's huge guys, yeah, like planning, food, planning, and then with thing. the light snacks, I like that's fun so good. I but <laughs> it got you're, me where I needed to You're be. going, and that's, you're going to regardless. So, you know, if, if she fell off, they'd be like, ha, we told you that you were going to fall off. And uh, if she didn't, they'd be like, oh, I thought you were on a diet, I thought you were on a strict diet. So you, you're in a lose-lose situation with your friends and family, oh, unless they have... Uh, similar goals so great job on like not succumbing to that peer <laughs> pressure um, so planning ahead light snacks um, what are some other things that um, they can take away <clears throat> see what else uh, maybe like, get stuff in the gym or anything that was my main thing was like food but uh, what else what are some things in the gym then like as far as, because you were getting stronger yeah. while on a deficit. Yeah. So I know a few times. Um, there were some days where, you know, like I didn't feel as strong as others, but. What'd you do on those days? But the whole, um, I would just kind of like settle for like where I was at the week before if I couldn't go higher. Good. Because I did always, like tracking the mm -hmm. weight really helped me a lot. On the app? Yeah. Part Good. of the Real Results Fitness Plan. Because <laughs> that right there. Shameless like, plug. <laughs> <laughs> that right there made me like think twice about what I had been doing beforehand. Like I think when I started and we were doing um, dumbbell deadlifts. Yeah. Um, I think beforehand, like I would do like something light, like twenty five pounds. But like I knew I could do more, but right. because I wasn't tracking it, I wasn't really being mindful. And then 
That's crazy. <laughs> with the dumbbells, but it was because I was tracking it yeah. every time. I was like, I want to go higher. I want to go higher. Yeah. And because I could see it, I knew what I did. <clears throat> so that was always like my motivation right. was to get higher than that. And, and that's big. What she said uh, also in the very beginning is the days she wasn't feeling it, she would just be like, all right, let me at least try and hit what I hit last week mm -hmm. or last time. Um, because it's going to take time for you to... It, Contrary to popular belief, it takes time to lose muscle and lose strength. Like, you have to try, or you have to be like, let's say, you know, I hate to bring this up, but you gotta be like hospitalized or something. Like, you gotta be sick, or, you know, like if you have surgery and then you gotta take four weeks off and you're not eating well and you're not exercising at all and you're almost bedridden, then you're gonna start losing muscle rapidly. But it's like, if you don't PR from week to week, you're not gonna lose a ton of muscle. That's not to say, to sandbag it, all right? Um, Been busted a few times. Yeah, like every time. <laughs> <laughs> every time I see her. <laughs> no, I'm just out. kidding. I would um, say every time. Yeah, I know. I'm just giving her a hard time. It's the last week. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, and then, so what, so last question, what's your biggest takeaway from nutrition? Um, the biggest takeaway would be... Huh. Well, for me, um, now I'm so like used to, like I can, I know how much something is, like by yeah. eyeballing now, and yeah. like I know my alternatives when I go out to eat, so that's probably my biggest takeaway is that like I can go out to eat, and even though like some people are like, oh, why are you eating out or whatever, but yeah. it's like I know what I can get, <clears throat> and what I've had for the day, where I'm gonna be okay. Like, yeah. I know I'm not gonna feel guilty for eating whatever it is because I've either planned ahead or I've taken out so many things that I don't need in that item. Right, right. So I'm kind of like less, um, well, for one, less restricted in my mind because I don't have to overthink it. Yeah. Very cool, very cool. And if I were to ask you, how much money would I have to give you to take away the knowledge that you've earned in since end of April. How much money would I have to give you? In how order? many JT concerts can I buy? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how much they cost. What are they like 10 bucks a concert? <laughs> oh, wow. That's an insult. We'll see if you ever go. <laughs> uh, so, so like what's a, what's no, a dollar it, amount? It, it, it's priceless because yeah. it's made my life a lot easier. Awesome. That Just, wasn't planned either. <laughs> it wasn't. No, that's awesome to hear that, you know, like, look, she's going to concerts, she's living her best life during the summer, <laughs> and, uh, and her body's transformed, she's gotten stronger, and most importantly, she has a very healthy relationship with, like, nutrition and the gym and everything, so, mm -hmm. great job, Brie, and, uh, thank you for joining me today, no problem. <laughs> and, um, we, we're, the goal is to get everybody on here where she's at, if you're already there, good job, if you're not, we're gonna get you there. <laughs> All right, guys, we'll see you on the next live. Have a good one.